Obsidian Entertainment is an American role-playing video game developer founded in 2003 after the disestablishment of Interplay Productions Black Isle Studios. Although it has created original intellectual property, Obsidian has mostly developed sequels to existing games, and many of their games are based on licensed properties. Obsidian continues to operate under the management of its founding officers, Vigor Circuit, Chris Parker, Darren Manan, Chris Avalon and Chris Jones. History On March 23, 2006, Obsidian and Sega announced that they would co-develop a role-playing game based on a new franchise. It was revealed to be Alpha Protocol, an RPG set in a modern-day spy adventure setting, which was released on June 1, 2010. On December 13, 2006, Sega officially announced that Obsidian Entertainment had been signed to develop a role-playing game based on the Aliens film franchise. However, it has since been cancelled for unknown reasons. Another game called Seven Dwarfs was also cancelled. On April 20, 2009, Bethesda Softworks announced that a new game in the Fallout series, Fallout, New Vegas would be developed by Obsidian. It was released in October 2010. On February 11, 2010, Red Eagle Games and Obsidian announced that they would co-develop Game, S, based on the Wheel of Time series of fantasy novels by author Robert Jordan, however on April 25, 2014, CEO Fergus Erka told CVG in an interview that the agreement between the companies had dissolved after Red Eagle had failed to secure the necessary funding. At E3 2010 it was announced that Obsidian would be developing Dungeon Siege 3 for Square Enix. The game was released in 2011. On September 1, 2011, Square Enix announced that the Treasures of the Sun DLC for Dungeon Siege 3 was forthcoming, with an anticipated release in October 2011. Obsidian Entertainment revealed that they are pitching an unknown original IP to several publishers and are getting very good results. On December 1, 2011, South Park, The Stick of Truth was announced being developed by Obsidian. On March 14, 2012, Obsidian cancelled a future next-gen project, resulting in the layoff of approximately 20 to 30 employees both from that project and the upcoming South Park, the game team. Pillars of Eternity was announced on September 14, 2012. The title is the first from Obsidian to employ a crowd-funded model of financing, utilizing the popular website Kickstarter to acquire funds. The funding ended successfully on October 16, 2012 having gathered $3,986,929, which beat the record amount for video games funded via Kickstarter previously held by Double Fine Adventure. On March 20, 2014, Obsidian announced they had begun launching a tank-centric tactical military MMO named Armored Warfare, starting with beta testers. On August 13, 2014, Obsidian announced that they had licensed the Pathfinder role-playing game to make electronic games, starting with a tablet adaptation of the Pathfinder adventure card game. Paizo CEO Lisa Stevens also confirmed plans for an Obsidian-developed computer role-playing game. Games Developed See also, Bioware, Black Isle Studios, Inxile Entertainment, Troika Games, References External links, Official Website